Stand by SOT1. Standing. 10 seconds. Ready, rolling. Ready, SOT1. Ready. In four, three, two, one, roll in. From legendary Uncle Studios in beautiful Southern California, welcome to another edition of Work Comp Matters, the central location for you employees, you employers, and of course, we haven't forgotten about you damn independent contractors. And now, here's this week's edition of Work Comp Matters. It's about 12.06 on July 1st, 2020. Welcome to another edition of Work Comp Matters. I'm joined by my chief of staff, the doctor, but he's not a medical doctor, uh, Mr. Mike Mike Zyma. Uh, I'm a little uh, 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 whatever today. Uh, The madman across the water. For Clemp, thank you so much. Uh, (laughs) The madman across the water is taking a well-deserved vacation. And it's probably, I think, about six or seven minutes after 9 p.m. in Munich, Germany. And he is probably drinking a beer right now with nine other friends at a uh, local tavern, bar and grill establishment. And, John, we hope that you are having uh, lots of fun. Work Comp Matters is brought to you by the WorkCompCentral.com. If you want the number one location for workers' compensation in both California and around the United States, check out the WorkCompCentral.com. They've got a free seven-day offer, and if you want to pick up their services, I have them. You should, too. It's only $1 a day. WorkCom Matters is also brought to you by A1 Law, number one computer management system. 818-357-4120 for your no strings attached money back guarantee also only one dollar a day a one law well good afternoon everybody my name is steve appel and as mike correctly said i am uh for clemped kerklemped uh, whatever i am i am unprepared and i've been actually taking care of business that actually pays me money and uh my recording studio, uh, my laptop, headphones, and uh, 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 microphone are being presently used uh, by the boss for a Zoom deposition. So I'm actually I'm actually doing this show uh, on my iPhone. And uh, news of the day. Well, let's see. Gavin Newsom, I believe the Gab is speaking right now uh, about tightening up restrictions. Uh, because of the coronavirus, basically, the numbers have exploded, not only in Los Angeles County, not only in California, but across the United States. Multiple states are tightening restrictions. They're closing different types of businesses that have been reopened, as we discussed in the past 48 hours on the show. Los Angeles, pardon me, uh, Governor uh, Newsom, Uh, closed all bars in the state. Los Angeles County closed the beaches. Ventura County closed the beaches. And we're talking about potentially uh, more closures and possibly enforced restrictions. That essentially is my unprepared news of the day. I'm now going to go to the doctor who has a couple of uh, prevalent news stories and then we're probably going to end the show early. So, Mike, take it away. Ahead of a major holiday weekend and with numbers surging, the GAB says California will tighten its coronavirus restrictions and look to more strictly enforce them with more specific announcements coming Wednesday. So I guess that's going on as we speak. An ongoing two-plus-week spike in COVID-19 activity has pushed California's hospitalization and ICU totals to all-time highs. That includes the capital region, where Sacramento County's total for confirmed patients in hospital beds has almost tripled in the past 14 days. So, Steve, here, here we go. We've been talking about it for a week or two. 
Here we go. Yes, we, we certainly have, and this is something that we do not want to take lightly. Not at all. I'm uh, getting so sick of all this stuff, but uh, it looks like it's going to get worse before it uh, gets better. Uh, Mike, did you uh, have something about Carl Reiner? Oh, thank you for reminding me. Uh, gosh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, one of the funniest guys on the face of the earth passed away yesterday at the age of 98, Carl Reiner. Um, there's all kinds of eulogies and stuff going on right now on the TV and, and what he's done uh, you know, in, with the Dick Van Dyke show and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. But w what I really enjoyed about him was that he was willing to go into the background, play second banana, straight man, if you will. Um, if there was somebody else that could do the part better, and that happened with the Dick Van Dyke show. My understanding is that they shot a pilot with Carl Weiner in the lead, and it just it just didn't work. So they found Dick Van Dyke, and of course, the rest is history. Um, an, another amazing thing about Carl Weiner is that my understanding, at least it's been reported, was that he was tweeting up until a number of days before his death. Um, and he was... 98, so the word is that he just passed away from natural causes. There was apparently no COVID or anything like that involved. He was just a very, very old man. And uh, he was in that, what was that, Ocean's 13 movie? I didn't see it with, uh, with Clooney. I guess it came out, what, four years ago or so? So he was working until his mid nineties. And that's the kind of stuff I especially love. That's one of the reasons I like Fauci so much. He's 80 years old, Dr. Fauci, and he's still working like crazy. Cause I want to work until I'm 85. So there you yeah. go. Carl Reiner, one of the funniest guys on the face of the earth. Rest in peace. Uh, indeed. Speaking of Dr. Fauci, he came out this morning um, at a, uh, a Trump news conference uh, basically on his knees. Well, not quite on his knees, but Fauci is literally pleading uh, with younger Americans to take the COVID-19 virus more seriously, to take social distancing more seriously, to take this whole situation more seriously. And uh, thank you for mentioning Dr. Fauci. As far as um, Reiner, uh, everybody uh, loved Carl Reiner. I, I really never heard or read about a bad thing about him. Now, his son, Rob Reiner, who, of course, played the meathead uh, in <laughs> All in the Family, there, there's a lot of negative press about him, but most of it centers around his willingness uh, to... Uh, spew uh, his extremely liberal points of view. And um, that's what I got to yeah, say he, about on Rob Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He has been known to spew. That's correct. Um, Mike, I really have nothing else for this short, abbreviated uh, show of Work Comp Matters. And I do apologize for being. Uh, unprepared. Mike, have you got anything else? No, I, I just want to say that, you know, in the, in the news that we were preparing, 95% of it, again, is all COVID. So we don't want to be a dead horse, but uh, we do hope to be providing better news next week. And uh, if the better news is out there. Uh, Appel and his crew on Work Comp Matters will provide it, uh, but it will not be fake. I guarantee you that. Uh, Dr. Mike, uh, thank you very much uh, for helping me get this show together on such quick notice. Uh, Scott Walton of Legendary Uncle Studio, thank you so much. 
John Scalia, I hope you're ordering your second beer in Munich, Germany by now. And all the good people back at WorkCom Central that continue to approve and support of this valuable project, including but not limited to Ms. Kristen Chavez. My name is Steve Appel on this abbreviated version of WorkCom Matters. And we will see you again tomorrow at noon. Bye, everybody.